Well, it's one of the largest housing scams in Cleveland. And tonight, an exclusive Five on Your Side investigation has gotten the attention of prosecutors for possible criminal charges. On Your Side Chief Investigator Ron Regan joins us tonight when he has a new twist to the story. Well, that's right, Danita. One of the partners in this scam, Michael Alexander, was reportedly living the high life in a $12 million home in Southern California. Now, the court here in Cleveland just got this confession, seemingly from Alexander himself. It's <laughs> thievery. It's a crime. It's definitely a crime. She's among hundreds who were told they were investing in homes here in Cleveland that would be rehabbed and neighborhoods revitalized. Instead, the two men behind the scam disappeared. Millions of dollars is missing. And this is what Cuyahoga County's top prosecutor is saying. Our whole other class of criminals. Now, a new twist. Michael Alexander's one of the men behind the scam. And in this letter to Cleveland Housing Court Judge Ray Bianca, a seemingly stunning admission. I misled all parties, diverted all accounts, forged documents, and accept full and complete responsibility. Yours truly, Michael Alexander. The letter not signed was received this week as our investigation went public. But his partner, Mark Tao, confessed on camera, insisting he was misled. You could blame it on me. You could blame it on Michael Alexander. But there are a lot more people at fault in this big game than just me and, and others. Mr. Alexander is a big part of the fraud. But the sellers of property, to sell abandoned property, and it's not disclosed, it's abandoned, destroyed, condemned, for the sole reason that they can, um, they can make profit and get it off their books. How would you describe the kind of operation that we're describing in this report? These guys are predators. They're mortgage predators, take, again, taken advantage of um, homes and real estate that have already been distressed. Easy access funding bought up at least 130 properties across Cleveland, leaving behind a trail of broken neighborhoods. Frank Ford is vice president of a Cleveland community organization that's studied the impact. Yeah. For easy access, that's more than half a million dollars in lost taxes. So that's dollars that we're not getting for Cleveland schools and municipal services. Then the second impact is that homeowners like this one and across the street and over there, their properties are now devalued. And Cleveland Councilman Anthony Brancatelli's ward was hard hit by easy access. What they have done is criminal. What they have done deserves a very long sentence. As a result, the Cuyahoga County Mortgage Fraud Task Force is now investigating easy access funding for possible criminal charges. We are reviewing their conduct here in our community. Uh, certainly, uh, we have nailed one of these guys down in Florida doing the same type of a thing. We, are, we believe that after we're done with a thorough investigation that we're going to be able to tie them to criminal activity. And when that is completed, and if it is completed and there's evidence to support it, we'll present this information to the grand jury. Well, in addition to possible criminal charges, Alexander and Tao face a civil lawsuit. It alleges their negligence contributed to that explosion at an easy access home on Cleveland's west side two years ago. Dennis Rehor, an attorney for the insurance company that filed that lawsuit, said only that the complaint speaks for itself. And, of course, we're going to stay on this story and bring you the very latest as it continues to unfold. Ron, fantastic work. Nice job. Great story. You bet.